Hello everyone, this is a guy, quick little guide to get some of the grinding achievements in Car X. So there's a couple of achievements in this game we're going to be, show, I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, there's not much for a guide on anything on the website. This game doesn't have mega, mega play, this game doesn't have a major player base. So it's kind of not for achievement hunters, but there is some grinding achievements uh, like leveling up, driving four, uh, 4 thousand kilometers, and 1,000 multiplayer races. So we're going to get right into that first. So the car I recommend getting for this, I recommend playing the game, you know, saving up, saving up for whatever, for whatever car in the game, which is the Roller DR. So the mod you're going to put on this is the Drift mod, and you want to do 8 centimeters length of the ride height, everything I didn't mess with, all this I didn't mess with. There's my stats in case you want to max it or equal it, you know. Uh, wheels, 19 by 19, 19, 19, 230 in the front, 315 in the rears. No, nothing else I messed with besides the, the track. Negative 1, negative 3, and 45% uh, tire profile. I like the Ultimate version better because it has more power. But with that tune, I don't think it works like this. So what I'm, I want to show you how to do first is to do... The 1,000 multiplayer wins, the method I use that I've been working on, and it's pretty quick. Um, this is the get points, and this is also just one of the ways. So the track you're going to go to is St. Petersburg. It's the one with the, the uh, pillar building in the front. You want to do password. You have to make sure password on. Make sure you're in there by yourself so no one can mess with you. You're going to push up on the D-pad. And you're gonna go over to dual. Do players one. Go over to clipping C, or you go left to go to clipping C. So my settings are basically uh, default settings. I have one on manual, no clutch. So with this build, you can literally just hold right. It took me only about 10-15 seconds to do one run. This is a method to do this with, that way you get points. I'll do it one more time, clipping, let's push up and push A again instantly, you go back to the next one. Bang third or fourth gear out with this car. And you get, you get points this way, to make those money. points right there. So I, I had 16,000 points both times. So if you go whenever you're done, that's two out of a thousand right there. You do finish race. And as you see, I got 30k points, so I got 30k money. And I only got 300 XP, around 300 XP, which isn't a lot because you need like a crap ton XP for this game, really unrealistically. Just to get this next level, I need 200,000 just to hit level 23. Sorry, 24. And that is excessive, in my opinion. So, next, I want to show you another method, real quick, to get the multiplayer ones out of the way. If you don't care about points or money, I recommend buying an all wheel drive car that you can get all wheel drive on. Let's see if I have this one still. You do the, the Prestigio, which is new. Um,. I'll just do this one real quick. Go to the room list. Do the push Y to create your own. Same thing. Push up. Duels. Clipping C. I think with this car, I have the yeah, heat. Down, 
that way, you do like that. Um, you won't get many points that way, or money, as much money, but that's fine. See, I only got 1,000 points, and 346 XP, which is pretty good, compared to the other one, but it's quicker, not enough points. Um, that give you three or four runs right there, and you can get a run about every 10 seconds of the right car. That car, or the Lumberjack, both have all-wheel drive, that I know of, that I prefer. Alright, so next we're going to do... Actually, I'll show you what my tune is on this. For the all-wheel drive, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what you run, really. I think the tires is the only thing that matters. Yeah, well, adhesion, which is basically grip, is 120%, so you just kind of take off. Um, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to use another all-wheel drive car or something like that. And a map. This may be patched by the time you watch this video. If you are watching this video, thank you. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. You're going to go to the LA block. I found this video from uh, another another guy who helped me out. But his version was different than mine. So I don't know how this is going to work for you. You may get lucky. But my version on Xbox. Um, here, let me just get to it and I'll show you. Go this. So the Hummel. So this one I have real rear wheel adhesion to 120. You're gonna go to the same thing. Let's push up. Y. Nail, nail, nail. For this method too, um, I recommend that you get a wire controller. That way your battery is doing not die. Because you can leave this on overnight to get your thousand or four thousand dollars. I did it. See on your speedometer, you have a uh, Turn your settings, push X to go to settings, and then control. Yeah, con nope, that's not it. Game, you want to do. Clutch. Wait, no. Gearbox automatic. And then turn off your vibration. And once you get right here, make sure you save your settings, by the way. I kept backing out, I'm not saving it. Once you get right here, you kind of want to drive off, hold the gas. And automatic, it should bounce up gears, so if you get up to... This is a method I would recommend rubber banding. Just get a rubber band on the bottom side of your uh, gas and in your thing to keep the gas going and leave it uh, somewhere where it won't be touched because it might reset you off the thing. But uh, the guy's video, I forgot his name, I'm sorry, I'll put the, his channel right here. Um, his method, or this is the same method he had, but he kept going instead of respawning. But uh, with this method, I was able to get a mile every 33 seconds. 
and you need like 2,500 some miles, if I'm mistaken. So this is the method I recommend, like when you go to bed, just leave it on, or you know, you can go into like the movies or like somewhere. You can do this way. You can do this with any car too, by the way, but I recommend leaving it on adhesion 120%, that way you just take off, and you get a lot of speed. But if you get lucky, you'll get, uh, not respawn, and you'll get that you get faster, but this is the only spot you, that will keep resetting you off the map, so you just keep it straight. And once you get on that, um, you can just keep, on your pedometer, you can just see your miles under the thing, so you can tell me you have. See on mine, I spent 23 hours in that car, just doing that, and I got it pretty well. Um, so next we're going to do the XP method. This one will take skill. Um, this is the fastest, easiest way to get XP. But it also is pretty challenging. So you're going to go to single player. I recommend using the car. I recommend the Rolo with the, the same tune. You're going to do Tandem Drift. You're going to go to Parking A. Configuration 3. Because so all it is, is one big corner. And as you can see on the left right there, I've, I've gotten over 95 plus consistently. If you get around 200 points, you get around $32,000 and 6,000 XP or more for 190. That's our goal. Even then, you know, 6,000 isn't really denting that, but it's the fast. It's the only fastest way you have. So what you're going to do is, and as of right now, this method I'm about to show you works instead of you're doing your first run all the time. You want to get one solid good first run. Also, down there by the speedometer, you can see my bar. Reach gas, steering gas. That's pretty good. I didn't even hit the thing. And I got 97, so that's pretty good. And we'll keep that run. You got it. It's gonna make you do a tandem run now. So you need to run the same car. So I recommend trying to do this, this repeat exactly what you just did as good as you can. Try not to hit the car. If you hit the car, you get this right here. And you get to restart. Restart the uh, run. So you're gonna retry a second race again. the right at his door, he just gotta stay close, and as you can see, I got 93 right there. And my XP did go up to 621. Instead of restarting completely, I'm just gonna retry second race again. Probably when the guys are wrong, is you gotta restart it, you don't have to restart it. As of right now, they may patch it when they're on this video. All you gotta do is... Six. So about nine two seven now. We'll do it one more time. You know, it got me up to 9.30 or 6.33. So that's the best way to do that. That's the best way to get XP. Um, that build is not bad because you can literally just hold the wheel to the left and floor it. As long as you manage your throttle, you should be okay. And uh, other than that, that's the fastest way to get XP. You get around 6,000 a run if you do good enough. Um, might be slower, but that's right now that's the only method we can find. Uh, if you have another method that helps you get Max level, please let me know in the comments, or please let someone know on True Achievements or something. Because this game is excessively long for the XP grind, and only like 20 people have completed it right now. Out of like 6,000, and I want to be one of those people. Um, so that that does that, and now I want to show you, so you get... Do you get more XP? No. So you get... 
XP every time you do it, but the final screen will only have 6,000. Just make sure you check on your progress as you go. And then now, I'm going to show you a way to get a little bit of XP on your own without being there. So AFK. So again, I recommend a, a plugged-in controller a remote for this. You're going to go to room list again. And you can do LA Block. That's the one I've been doing it on. It's not as fast as the other one, because the other one is you know, it's on you, really. But you actually have to be there. This method is literally for people that want to go somewhere, you know. Since this car is very hard to spin out, and as you see, I'm swinging it left and right as many far as I can go. I'm going to go down the first gear. I can see how you see this, this tune, or whatever. I can only go 27 miles per hour. spin out too by the way so with that see I got 225 XP it's not bad for I only did that for 1 minute and 39 seconds um, the only downside of this is that one make sure you're in the private lobby which you usually are so no one can join in and they're up to you and smack you and two is if you lose power connection or whatever your progress for the XP won't count but your drive miles will for the achievement progress, but your your XP won't count unless you quit and say uh, exit it, or like like this. So that being said, that's the three methods to get the 4,000 kilometers, the 1,000 multiplayer races, and the XP. So again, if you like this video and it helped you out a little bit, drop me a like, and please subscribe because you're watching my other videos. It means a lot. And um, this is Car X. I haven't completed it yet, but I'm trying to. And if you have any better methods too, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. You know, um, it sucks when there's no guides for anything. And I will be posting these guys on TA until I find a better way to do these. But as of right now, as of 8 8 2022, these are the fastest ways I can find. And I'll give a shout out to the channels below that help me find these. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. See you later. Yeah, that's my